Hello, Calvary, and welcome to our Wednesday update. My name is Amy Anthony, and I'm the missions pastor here. And today I am here with... I'm Ella Lindenman. And Ella, I have known for a very long time, so I'm really excited to have her with me here today to talk about Angel Tree. So first of all, Ella, what grade are you in? I'm in ninth grade. What school do you go to? I go to Harrison High School. All right, and do you indeed attend our student community here at Calvary? Yep, I do. All right, which is why she is on our team. So every time we do projects, we love to bring in some of our students to help with leadership, but also um, we're gonna talk today about a few ways that our students are going to get involved with Angel Tree too. Yeah. So Ella's there to make sure they sign up. Actually do it. Yeah. Now we also recognize that it feels crazy to be talking about Christmas and Angel Tree when it has been 70 degrees outside. I am loving this weather. How about you? I want snow. <gasps> A lot of snow. No. Yes. I am not ready for snow. No. I want snow. Mm -mm. December 24th. Nope. Good day for snow. Every All right. day. So we're trying to get in theme here with Christmas. We've got our garland. We're pretending it's cold so that we can start thinking about Christmas. But I don't know about you, but I'm ready to take these gloves off. Yeah, it's kind All of right. hard to do stuff with them. Okay, so Angel Tree is a program that we started last year, and it is a program through Prison Fellowship, and what it does is it allows local churches to purchase Christmas gifts and some clothing items for children here in Tippecanoe County who have parents who are incarcerated. So we had a great time doing this last year, I and mean, it was great to make personal connections with families, and we even um, had some families visit church and we're able to stay connected with a few of them throughout the year. So um, it's a really great program. One of the things that drew us to working with Angel Tree is that our partner church, Chicago West, uh, with Pastor John Kelly is very active in prison fellowship ministry year round. So we thought that doing Angel Tree would be just one more way that we could go into a deeper relationship with their church and our yeah. partnership. So. Um, this year we have 51 families that we are going to be purchasing for. How many kids do we have? 103. Close. 106. 106. 106 kids that we'll be purchasing for. But um, there are a lot more ways to help with Angel Tree than yeah. just purchasing the gifts. That's an important part, but there's many other ways to get involved. And so before... Um, you show up to church on Sunday, which is when everything will be ready for pickup. We want to share with you the other ways that you can help. So what is our first team? Our first team is the calling caregivers team. All right. So our calling caregivers team calls caregivers to find out what kinds of interests the kids have so we can purchase something that they're really going to love opening on Christmas yeah. and also to get sizes and clothing requests. Now, this team has actually almost finished their job. So we started doing this um, last week when we got all of the information. But if this is something that sounds really interesting to you and something that you would love to help with, go ahead and fill out the form and let us know because next year when we do Angel Tree, I will contact you and get you started earlier on. So team one, almost finished. Thank you to those that have been calling. Team two is? The promotion team. The promotion team. So the promotion team are the volunteers who help to put the display up in the lobby, make sure that everything is ready to get picked up, and then also um, serves on the table and takes everybody's information and makes sure that everybody gets the right, uh, the right information for their family. And one of the things that Ella's gonna do is try to get the students to help out with that. Yep, students are gonna help. Yeah, so look for the students on Sunday in the lobby and talk to them about how you can adopt a child or a family. So, all right, team number three. Team number three is the wrapping the team. The wrapping team. No, not that kind of wrapping. All right, so the wrapping team actually has a big job. So all of these gifts come in. So we've got 106 kids times two gifts per child. Ella? 106 kids. Times two. Oh, like. <laughs> Two hundred twelve. Okay, so two hundred and twelve. Yes, sorry. you're fine. It's good. Two hundred and twelve. I mean, ninth grade math. Your teacher would be Ge proud. Geometry. It's oh, geometry. No. Okay, so wrapping gifts. Um, so all those gifts come in. So our wrapping team not only helps to wrap the gifts, but to sort them, organize them, make sure they're coming in, make sure they're all with the right thing, and then 
last year, like guys, my Christmas gifts under the tree, not pretty. I bet yours look amazing. They looked pretty good. I know, mine, not so good. But the gifts last year and our gift wrapping team went above and beyond to make sure that these gifts are wrapped beautifully for the families. Big, huge bows, handwritten cards, gift bags for caregivers. And so more information about that coming soon. And again, Ella, what are we hoping for the students with that? We're hoping that they can come and they can help wrap some gifts. Unless they are bad at wrapping. Bad at wrapping. But even if you are bad at wrapping, you can come and you can cheer us on. Yeah. Yeah. Be in charge of picking up trash, trash. on the floor yeah. or something. So yeah. So the wrapping team is something that we're hoping a lot of students will come out and help with, but also a lot of adults. So um, watch for information coming for that. All right. Next team. Our next team is the delivery team. The delivery team. So maybe you don't want to call people. Maybe you don't want to purchase gifts. Maybe you don't want to wrap gifts, but you would love to drive gifts around town. So we will have all the packages ready, labeled, addresses, and then the people who serve on the delivery team make contact with the family, arrange a time to get those dropped off, and really that's an amazing um, place to serve if you would be interested, if you're a people person, if you love to chat with new people that you've never met before, it's a great opportunity to just give some warmth and cheer this year yeah. delivering those gifts. Yeah. So yeah, do you drive yet? No, I can't. No, you can't be on that team. Two more years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, next one. Next one is the prayer team. The prayer team. Okay, so this is a very important team. So one of the things that we want to be doing is praying for all of the um, men and women who are incarcerated and away from their children this Christmas. We want to pray for the um, caregivers. We want to pray for the children. Now we do protect privacy. We don't share anyone's personal information or full names, but if you join the Angel Tree prayer team, then you will get a list with um, just some basic like initials and ages. Um, so nothing, nothing specific, yeah. but enough that you can be praying for different families and their situations this Christmas season. Now, that was a lot of information yeah. and it's coming quickly. But you can find everything that I talked about today on the Calvary Info Hub slash Angel Tree. Yep. So head on over to yourcalvary.info slash Angel Tree. You can see summaries of everything we talked about today, as well as find links to sign up. So join us this Christmas, participating with Angel Tree. Yeah. All right. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.